What's going on guys, Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're going to be drafting a team, trying to draft that 12-0 team, and then trying to start off undefeated with the team. So be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if y'all are new, comment anything down below. Maybe your predictions on the playoffs, each series, everything like that. Who's going to win in wildcard games, all that good stuff. Feel free to follow on any of the social media, some of that Fortnite channel in the description and thank you so much to our channel members for the extra support and i just want to let you guys know i'm really not feeling great today so it's probably not going to be a super long video but i still want to keep that daily streak going so let's just go ahead hop right into this draft let's see who we got first round yo i want to try tory hunter i have been looking forward to trying this card all year i've been waiting for him to release it they finally have and we get to try on tory hunter yes sir i'm happy about that that actually makes me super happy. I was hoping we would get someone that I've been wanting to draft. We got one right there. There's two common rounds in a row. Pedro Strope, I've actually done decent with in Battle Royale at pitching. Gene Segura playing up with Inside Edge. I'm just going to grab Pedro Strope as one of my righties in the pen. We can do Paul DeYoungo Cardinals. Ooh. Yo, I think I might do Travis Hafner here. Russell Martin's a great catcher, though. I feel like I could get a good first baseman that's like a silver, too. Let me know in the comment section below who you guys would choose. I'm going to go with Russell Martin just because I feel like that's going to be a good card. And I feel like I could pretty easily get a good first baseman that's like a silver, maybe a gold. So I think that's a good decision. Third starting pitcher. Let's see. Um, I could go G-Man. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I second pronounce the names, guys, so I'm sorry. I could go him here at first for now and then try to replace him. I could go Luis Gohara. And the rotation, we might as well do that. Let's see. Silver round, Logan Morrison, Gio Urshela, and Trey Mancini. Gio and Trey playing out with inside edge. Plus 16 to the lefty stats and plus 5 to the righty. Ooh. I kind of want to go Gio. The thing is, Logan Morrison kills righties. I'm going to do Gio Urshela here. I like that card playing out with inside edge. That should be fun. Hunter Renfro, a lot of power. Josh Fields could be one of my righties in the pen. And let's see. Kind of a tough decision, man, because I'm really trying to draft good fielders. And, like, that's decent fielding, but it's obviously not great. And he doesn't have great speed. So I could wait to get someone better. Or I could just go run for right now, which is what we're going to do. Uh, Kristen Stewart. Yeah, we'll do. No, 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 no. We're going to do Daniel Murphy for now. Let's see if we keep him there. Adrian Hauser. In the bullpen, let's see. Willie Stargell, this is a great card. I'm only two for six with him. I haven't used him a whole lot. Uh, again, though, does not have great fielding, just like some other guys. Eric Sogard destroys lefties, even though he's a lefty card. And Sean Doolittle playing down with inside edge. The thing is, he's been one of my go-to relievers all year. Actually, maybe not. Man, I must be thinking of last year. I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of last year. Let me know down in the comment section below who you guys would choose in this round. I'm tempted to go with Sean Doolittle just because I don't like Willie Stargell's reaction, fielding, and speed out there in the outfield. Oh, man. Eric Sogar could be good, though, too. Eric Sogar could be great. He destroys lefties. Yeah, we're going to try We're gonna try the Sogar card, man. I actually don't mind that. Marcelo Zuna or Carson Smith or Tommy Pham. I'm tempted to go Tommy Pham playing up inside edge. Yeah, plus 13. Let's try him out. Justin Wilson in the bullpen. Jerry Blevins could be a bullpen guy. We could go Kershaw here as well. Let's see. Oh, we're drafting our bullpen now, man. Shoot, okay. Uh, Tyler Clippard in the bullpen. So, whoever I draft here, I want it to be someone that I feel like I'm going to be able to use to pretty much carry me. Saying 1-0, I don't think so. Uh, Roberto Osuna, I used him and I didn't do well with him. Araldis Chapman, I have not done well with. Kirby Yates, I've done pretty solid with. A lot of that's in Battle Royale. We're going to go Kirby Yates here. I think that's a decent decision. And then our gold round, we can get a lefty. Let's do Will Smith. That's the only lefty here. And we do need a lefty. Let's just get Luis Avilan. Honestly, not a bad bullpen. Now we have two silver rounds. I want to try to replace maybe Hunter Renfro and maybe Daniel Murphy. We'll just see what happens. So... I like Trey Mancini's bat, man. I really like Trey Mancini's bat. Byron Buxton, the pinch runner. I could honestly put him in, in for... I was going to say I could put him in for Hunter Renfro, but I don't really want to. We're going to use Byron Buxton as like a pinch hitter, pinch runner type of guy. Jose Bautista... Uh, do I want to do that? Yeah, Jose Bautista, pinch hitter. Sure, sure, sure. And now I want somebody... 
I guess Kyle Seeger, maybe pinch hitter. Honestly, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Kyle Seeger, pinch hitter. I like my lineup where it's at. We have a lot of righties, but I think it should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. We can do some vision for a pinch hitter. And just in case, a backup catcher. I'm going to go ahead and make the lineup. Then we're going to hop into the first game. Try to start off 1-0 with this team we're playing the new york splinters our opponent has 99 griffey cody bellinger 85 josh donaldson 82 babe ruth yasmani grandal dansby swanson miguel cabrera 74 jose altuve 67 live series jordan zimmerman on the mound we got john duplanter on the mound i'm probably pronouncing that wrong i still pronounce the names that's the lineup i'm rocking with i put eric sogard second just because after the first batter of the game Maybe my opponent will bring in a reliever, and maybe they'll see that there's a lefty up, so they'll bring in a left-handed pitcher. Even though there's two righties following him, that I feel like will make him maybe bring in a righty. But just in case he brings in a lefty, I figure we could have Eric Sorgar there, who does better against lefties. My first at bat with Torrey Hunter. Hit it decently, just straight to Griffey out there. Probably got under that one a little bit. And I'm excited to use him more. I really do not want to lose this game. I, I want to go 12-0 again, but I really want to use all these cards on my team, especially Torrey Hunter a little bit more. As you guys can see, definitely got under that one a little bit. Eric Sogard coming up. He's leaving in the pitcher, and Eric Sogard says, I don't care that I do better against lefties. I'm going to hit that one into the gap, get a nice little double. Just like that with one down top of the second. That brings up... Russell Martin up to bat. Russell Martin up the middle, 43 speed. I'm going to send it. We're testing Griffey's arm. It's not even going to matter. He's going to be easily safe in there at home. We take a one to nothing lead. Just like that in the top of the first inning. There we go, team. Tommy Pham into the gap. Babe Ruth out there, not able to get to it. Tommy Pham with a double. Hopefully the runner can advance to third safely. That's two guys in scoring position. Still only one down for Daniel Murphy, my other lefty in my lineup, still facing a right-handed pitcher. Daniel Murphy, I swung at a high pitch. We're flying out to Griffey. It's going to be close at home if I go. It's going to be real close. 64 speed sliding in. I tried to do a head-first slide. I was actually pointing the analog stick up and everything, but I think if we did a head-first slide, we could have been safe there. No way to know for sure. This is bringing up Griffey. I wish I wouldn't have gone at this point because uh, we did get thrown out. Ken Griffey Jr., first batter of the game for our opponent into the outfield. And the game's tied. Oh, man. Cody Bellinger, 0-2 count. What do I do? Give him a base hit. I feel like I've been doing good recently when I'm in an 0-2 count not giving him hits. I feel like it's been, I don't know, maybe we gave him one yesterday, but I feel like it's been a little while since I did that. And we're doing one to Cody Bellinger there. Josh Donaldson coming up the gold version. I'm hoping to get a few more swings like that or just get him to drive one to the ground and a double play. Either of those I'd be fine with. 0-2 to him. Let's do a curveball low. I'm going to show you guys that I'm great at 0-2 counts again. Watch that. Look at that. Beautiful strikeout for out number one, bringing up Babe Ruth. And we're striking out Babe Ruth. Back-to-back -back punch outs. Yes, Mighty Grand Dog coming up. I'm going to try to work him low and away. I really, like, if I'm going to miss, I want it to be like that, off the plate. I do not want to miss over the heart of the plate at all. And we're striking out Yosemite Grandal. Three straight strikeouts following the home run and the base hit. It's time for Paul DeYoung, our 6 7 eight hitters here in the top of the second. I really want to score some runs, y'all. I do not want to be tied in the bottom of the second, top of the third. I would rather just, you know, get a lead and try to hold on to it. Jose Altuve. Yo, I wanted Torrey Hunter to make that catch so bad. Imagine a diving play from Torrey Hunter in the video that we drafted him in. That's going to be a two on the double for Jose Altuve bringing up the pitcher spot. I think that means Blake Trinan's coming out of the game. I think that's who was on the mound. We still have Will Smith on the mound. He's been doing great for me uh, ever since I brought him in. Miguel Sano coming up. I'm going to leave in Will Smith. I hope I don't regret it here. We're going to try to get maybe the strikeout, but either way, we just want to get the out here. We want to get the out, send it to the top of the third. 0 2 counts. Let's go to the curveball. That's been working pretty well for me on 0-2 count so far today. And Miguel Sano, a little bit ahead of it. Very early slider running inside now. Good pitch. Ooh, backed him off a little bit. Let's just go straight to the same one. He's not going to expect it. I can guarantee this watch. Yeah, look at that. Wasn't expecting it way early. Few foul balls in a row. Actually, there was a, there was a ball in there, wasn't there? But either way, count is staying alive. I probably should have taken out Will Smith considering his pitch count. But we're here. We're leaving him in. I could try the high fastball. I feel like if I throw a high fastball, he's going to smack a dinger. 
We're getting the ground out. 1-1 one, one still. I had a 1-2-3 top of the third inning. My pitcher spot is leading off for us in the top of the third. I think I said 1-2-3 in the top of the third. I don't know. I'm crazy. We had a 1-2-3 top of the second either way. And here we are, top of the third. Fergie Jenkins coming in. Kyle Seeger going to pinch hit for us. My second at bat with Torrey Hunter is my second out with Torrey Hunter. That's two down in the top of the third inning. I really don't want to go to the bottom losing because then if I give up a solo home run, we lose the game. Or I, I still losing. I don't want to go tied. You guys know what I'm trying to say, though. Eric Sogard coming up. He's our last top in the top of the third inning here. Cody Bellinger. Bruh. What is wrong with me, man? What is wrong with me, dudes? Oh, I gave up two runs. Both of them solo home runs, man. I'm disappointed in myself. That's what... Oh, Lord. That's what I didn't want to have happen. Dang, I can't believe that. I actually did not think that was going to happen. I, I felt like I was pitching really well after giving up that home run to lead off the game. My hitting, honestly, recently, it's been bad. And I'm pretty sure it's just I'm not playing nearly as much as I used to. I think I need to go on, like... I, I, I was going to say go on a screen. I need to have maybe a video where it's like one battle royale run in the entire video or something. I just I need to do something, I think, that gets me more reps in at the play because I've been doing the videos recently, and that's it. I have not been playing nearly as much, and I feel like it's definitely showing in how I've been doing recently. So I need to figure out a way uh, to find more time and manage my time better so I can get more swings and stuff like that. I'm sorry for losing again. It keeps happening, and I, 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 like, I don't want this to be the case. I know I'm better than this. And I'm just not playing well recently, so hopefully that can change here in the next few days. I think we might do a ranked seasons video tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, I was thinking after this Battle Royale run was when we're going to switch back to uh, ranked seasons, at least for one video. And it's been a minute since I've done one, so I kind of want to do that tomorrow. We'll see what happens, though. If you all enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. I'm sorry for losing that first game again. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new. Comment anything down below. Follow any of the social media, some of the Fortnite channel. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out. I like to look at my, you know, batter analysis or whatever after the game just to try to figure out if there's things that I feel like I can do differently from this game. I think I need to make sure I'm not swinging at pitches inside and outside, especially way out of the zone like that 14 and that 10. Those are pitches that I really don't want to be swinging at. Unless there's two strikes, that 10, I need to be swinging at that if there's two strikes, obviously. And then that one higher in the zone, that was Torrey Hunter's. That was the one with Torrey Hunter. And that's a decent pitch to swing at if I actually move the PCI all the way out, which I definitely didn't do in his at bat. And then the 13, that's way too high to be swinging at. Now let's go ahead and check out pitching for the hits that I gave up. So uh, obviously, I need to work on pitches down the middle. That's a big thing. And let me see Cody Bellinger and Griffey. So Griffey, the home run, was a pitch down the middle, fastball down the middle. And the Bellinger one, uh, which one? Is there a way to see? So change up and then a sinker. I'm pretty sure the home run was on a sinker. I think this was the pitch that I gave up a home run on for Cody Bellinger. So uh, the 215s, I think it was, right? Let me just see. So the, yeah, the 215s were the home runs. And both of those are locations that I should not be throwing the ball when I'm on the mound. So pitching, I need to work on location still a little bit. Uh, I think I did pretty solid that game for the most part. Let me see my ounce again, where they were. So yeah, out of the zone, the 13 and the 4. It depends on the handedness of the batter, that 13. And honestly, I, I think the 4 maybe needs to be a little bit more inside. The 11 maybe needs to be a little bit more low. But I was pretty happy with my pitching that game. We sadly came out on the losing side. But overall, I was pretty happy with that game. Just not so happy that we ended up losing the game, right? 